In this video, we're gonna go over performing a smoke test. So we need to see how much soot or smoke we're getting in our flue from our oil furnace. To do that, we're going to use a oil smoke pump tester. Now these come with special papers, they come with the kits. So we have to insert that in there. So we're gonna make sure that this is unscrewed. We can slip that paper into that slot, tighten this down so it's nice and tight. We already have our hole drilled into our flue. So we're just gonna insert that in there we're gonna pump that about 10 times. Now careful, this might get kind of hot because that's pretty hot inside of there. We can unscrew this. We can take our paper out. Now you can see, barely see that ring in there. And we're gonna take that and we have a smoke gauge comparison chart. So we would slip that piece of paper in there, line up our smoke test, and match it to the color. So we're pretty close to zero on that one. You want it between zero and one on your smoke test. So a good smoke test rating would be between zero and one. What causes excess smoke during combustion? If we have an inefficient burn, if we're not burning up all that fuel oil that we're spraying in there, uh, if we don't got a good hot flame in there, not enough air, we're gonna have soot, and that's all gonna be going out of our flue. If we open that up and have too much excess air going in there, that flame's gonna get really hot, and it's gonna really condense, but it's gonna get so hot, it's gonna burn up all that fuel oil to the point where we're not gonna get as much heat out of it as if we had that adjusted rate. So our smoke test helps us check to see if our excess air is uh, set right on the oil furnace. And you want that between zero and one. 